Okay, this tutorial is going to show you how to do the basics in Geometer Sketchpad. So go ahead and open Sketchpad. And this is great graphing and all around math software. So click somewhere in the white space so the header goes away. And let's actually increase the size a bit. And we're going to learn how to graph a parabola. So go up to Graph and scroll down to Plot New Function. And the function that we're going to plot is x squared. And if I want to raise something to a power, I use this little object here called the caret. That's saying x to the power of 2 minus 7x minus 3. There's my function. And when I hit OK, Sketchpad graphs it for me. But as you can see, we can't really see all of the graphs, so we need to change the scale. So let's go up to Graph in the menu, Grid Form, and let's change it to Rectangular Grid. That means that now I'm going to be able to adjust the X and Y axes independently. <clears throat> so, to do that, I hover my mouse above any of the numbers on the axis, and then I click and drag, and as you can see, it starts changing. I can do the same with the X axis. And I, I want to make this so that it fits my window nicely. Because what I see here is exactly what I'm going to be able to cut and paste later. So maybe I want to do something kind of like that. And now I've got a lot of points here that I, I don't really want to use on my graph. I don't want to have them be there. So I click somewhere else to deselect the y-axis. And then now I don't have to hold down shift. I just click on each point until they're all highlighted and then I can hide them. So I go up to display and I scroll down to hide points. And when I click that, the points are still there, I just can't see them. So the next thing we're going to want to do so that we can create the table of values for the project is I need to construct a point on the graph and to do that I highlight the graph by clicking on it and then I go up to construct and the first choice is point on function plot and there's a point right there and it's highlighted right now uh, I could make my best guess what the coordinates are or while the point is highlighted I could go up to measure and go down to coordinates and there they are my point is named A and right now the x is 3.25 and the y is negative 15.19. And the cool thing about this is as I click and drag and move around the point, you can see my x and y is measured right along with it. So I can get really close. That looks like my y-intercept where x is 0. I can trace the roots so that... Uh, Sometimes you can't get it exactly to zero, but that's pretty close. I'm going to guess it's about 0.4, negative 0.4, and on this side it would be about 7.4, about. That's estimated. Finally, if I want to take a picture of what I have here and insert it into Notebook, what I do is go up to edit, select all, and everything gets highlighted. Then I go to edit and copy. And then I can go into Microsoft Word, or in our case, we're going to be using notebook software. And all that I do is click paste. Edit, paste. And there's my graph. If I need to change the size of the graph, in Sketchpad. I do that by changing the window. So if I want to show all of this when I copy it, it's going to show and copy exactly what's in the window that I can see at the time. So be sure that your window is only showing what it is that you want to copy and paste into your document. Hopefully this helps. This is just an introduction to Sketchpad and uh, good luck with using it on your project.